In 2016, a heartbreaking incident that shook the world, especially among animal lovers. A gorilla had to be shot dead at the Cincinnati Zoo, leaving animal enthusiasts deeply saddened. The gorilla was named Harambe. Harambe was a silverback gorilla born on May 27, 1999, at Gladys Porter Zoo in Brownsville, Texas. However, on September 18, 2014, Harambe was transferred to the Cincinnati Zoo, where he was intended to serve as a subject for adult gorilla research. The naming of Harambe was inspired by a song titled Harambe or Working Together for Freedom, sung by Rita Marley, the former wife of Bob Marley. Harambe is a Swahili term that means working together or collaboration. On May 28, 2016, a small three-year-old child wandered away from parental supervision. The child attempted to get a closer look at the gorilla and climbed over the gorilla enclosure's barrier. However, the child ended up falling from a height of 4.6 meters or 15 feet. Zoo personnel quickly signaled for the gorillas near the child to be brought into the enclosure. There were three gorillas. Two female gorillas were successfully brought into the enclosure. But, a male gorilla weighing 180 kilograms or 396 pounds approached the young boy. An eyewitness stated that initially, the gorilla did not appear to be threatening or intending to harm the child. However, all the zoo visitors began to scream hysterically, causing the gorilla named Harambe to drag the young child along the moat. Most likely, the screams of the zoo visitors made Harambe the gorilla feel panicked and agitated, leading to increased aggression in his behavior, which posed a greater threat to the child. The incident unfolded for about 10 minutes until zoo authorities had to take the difficult action of shooting and killing the gorilla because his actions had become life-threatening to the child. When he was shot, the child was positioned between the legs of Harambe the gorilla. Harambe died exactly one day after his 17th birthday. The tragedy instantly went viral on the international stage. Many argued that Harambe should not have been the victim, and there were demands for both the child's parents and the zoo to be held accountable for the gorilla's death. However, at that time, the director of the Cincinnati Zoo, Thane Maynard, expressed, We are saddened by the loss of Harambe, but a child's life was in danger, and a quick decision had to be made by our dangerous animal response team. Meanwhile, the parents of the young child received a lot of criticism on social media and even faced threats of harm. However, they also stated that many people sympathized with their child and offered financial assistance for their son. Yet, they declined the aid and recommended that the donations be given to the Cincinnati Zoo in Harambe's name. The mother of the young child, named Michelle Gregg, posted on social media that her son, Isaiah, suffered a concussion and some minor scrapes, but his condition is relatively stable. On June 6, 2016, Ohio prosecutor Joe Dieters stated that the mother would not face any further legal consequences. Furthermore, the animal advocacy group Stop Animal Exploitation now also filed a lawsuit against the zoo for alleged negligence leading to the gorilla's death with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. They demanded a $10,000 fine be imposed. However, it eventually stated that no legal violations occurred at the zoo. A total of 3,400 people attended a memorial event for Harambe's death in Hyde Park, London. An animal activist expressed their profound sadness that a gorilla who had just celebrated his birthday had been killed. Several famous celebrities, including Ricky Gervais, Brian May, and Piers Morgan, also voiced criticism about Harambe's death. This incident sparked numerous debates, even among biologists and primatologists, 
about the actions taken by the zoo authorities. Many argued that the killing was not necessary, claiming that Harambe was attempting to care for the child. However, former zookeeper Amanda Odenug stated that Harambe was not attempting to protect the child. He was using him as a means of intimidating the visitors. She also mentioned that Harambe's actions were influenced by the screams of the visitors, causing him to become agitated. Amanda also mentioned that she doesn't blame anyone for Harambe's death, and we should evaluate the safety of animal enclosures from the visitor's perspective. However, one thing is certain, we have lost one of the beautiful creatures. In addition, many people also debated why Harambe had to be shot dead and why tranquilizers weren't used instead. The zoo authorities mentioned that Harambe's large size made them fear that tranquilizers would take too long to take effect. On the other hand, the child could face even greater danger as the tranquilizer injection might anger the gorilla. Primatologist Jane Goodall concluded that the zoo had no choice but to kill Harambe. She stated that, although it was a terrible life and death decision, it had to be made. Jane Goodall also mentioned that there is no way to prevent accidents from happening, but she believes that zoos with the highest safety standards can play a crucial role in ensuring the safety of both animals and visitors. This incident garnered national and international attention sparking various discussions about the ethics of animal captivity, parental responsibility, and zoo policies. Many people felt saddened by Harambe's death, and there were social media campaigns to commemorate him. Since then, the name Harambe has become an icon in the debate on animal welfare.